Good morning, everybody, and this is the Dow Jones day trade setup for you today. And uh, nothing has really changed. Um, a little bit of a different picture to the S&P. Uh, we sort of got a big engulfing bar here on the the range that we've been in, and we're now kind of hovering down here. Uh, we'll get down to the levels that we need to pay attention to shortly. I think there's one thing that you do need to put in at the moment, and that is this trend line. So there it is there. So you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five touches on that trend line already. So I think that is a fairly strong level and it is also sort of a channel. Okay, now remember, we've got earnings kicking off uh, in earnest uh, today and a lot of the banks are up first. Well, all the banks are up first actually. So um, this week is predominantly financial banks, uh, financial institutions and banks uh, results and uh, they're, they're expected to have some fairly decent results. So it's going to be very interesting to see what's happening. I don't, th I don't think this is a sign of selling. I think this is more a sign of people just not buying or not getting out of trades at the moment. So this is just the, the ebb and flow of the market at the moment, sort of buy and sell pricing. Um, if you look to the left, you can see quite a bit of structure all over the place. And I'd be very interested to see what's going to transpire here. You know, it, it does, you know, at first glance, it looks like, you know, we're bottom of channel and we're kind of drifting away from the top of the channel. As you can see there we touched the top and the last couple of days we haven't bothered with that. We have broken through the structure um, and we sort of come back to test it with this pin bar yesterday or going into the close last night. Um, and now we're back on what looks to be some kind of support. So I'm still, for Wall Street or Dow Jones, I'm still sitting on hands. I'm we'll wait for some of the results to start coming through before I start jumping in on this. Um, S&P 500 is a different picture. There's a, there's probably a better setup there to trade at the moment. But um, for me, I just want to get to the three hour because there is quite a bit of structure further down here. So a couple of areas. So the first one, I just use this bar. Okay, now we can go back to the one hour. Right, so first level we have is this area here, which is a 33.640. Okay, so that's the one area. And then we have this area down here at 33.536. So those are the two levels that I would be watching at the moment. It does look like a bit of a double top at the moment. Um, and we are starting to flirt with the bottom of this channel. So if that channel does give, uh, you're looking at somewhere around here as your low end target and that would be a great area to buy into as far as I'm concerned that's 33,100 so somewhere around 33,100 that'll be right on the smack bang so between 33,100 and 33,100 um, that would be the target if this channel had to break retest and start moving uh, it would come down and test some somewhere down here and so for me that is pretty much similar as the DAX uh, sit on hands, wait for wait for the results to start coming through and then we can start seeing what we have. Uh, put your levels in though. Don't make a mistake I made yesterday on the S&P and not have the levels in. Put the levels in and you will see there will be opportunities brewing. But um, for now, trend is up. You should be looking to buy. And my question is, do I want to buy here? It does look like there's a bit of a tweezer bottom for me here, so it is possible. But results, we need to, we really need to wait for some of the results start coming through to get a feel for what's going on and then start looking at this. Okay, so this is sit on hands for me as well and uh, hope it helps and we will catch up with you later. Cheers for now.